everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, it's an oldie but a goodie, isn't it, for us who have been watching YouTube videos for quite a while. What's in my handbag? It's a guilty pleasure. I still watch them all the time. For anybody who likes handbags, it's a nice way to actually research a handbag as well because you can see how much stuff fits. So this is my Louis Vuitton Montaigne. I bought this pre-loved from the real real and it is in the limited edition iris color you can see the color pretty well on camera um, it's an interesting color in that in some light it looks a little bit more purple in other lights it looks a little bit more blue you can see my capri blue scarf in the back which is sort of like a soft cobalt um, true color looks a little bit similar to the bag but in real life this has a little bit more of um, Kind of purple to it as well um, but it's a really nice color in that i think it looks fantastic with denim it looks really pretty with neutrals you can see i'm wearing an oatmeal kind of colored sweater from club monaco today i'll link everything i mentioned down below in the info bar um and i don't know i just really like these videos because they're a little bit frivolous a little bit fun to me they're nostalgic by now and then you know they're also useful if you are interested in the bags that are mentioned um, this bag is still made by Louis Vuitton but in different colors so I will show you everything that is in the bag and I'll give you a shot as well of everything spread out once I have it out so you can see just how much fits all together that would be the only thing that I say sometimes it's a bit annoying is like you see things one by one as they come out of the handbag and you see them in the handbag which I will show you right now I'm gonna start with the pocket that is closest to me and show you everything in there so first of all I've got my cell phone I do wish that the smaller pockets there's pockets on both sides on one side you've got the large one and on the other side you've got two and they are a little bit small for cell phones but that is because my phone is a monster I got the 6 plus and I do love it I have to say because I do a lot of business on this phone respond to a lot of emails it's really nice having a bigger screen uh, so I've got photo this is from my home tour that I did recently it's a little snapshot of Fufu on the couch with a cozy blanket and the case for the phone as well um, this would make such a good Christmas gift it was a little bit on the pricier side I'll link it down below but I think it was worth it because it's Safiano leather and it's Swarovski and the colors are so pretty it's like a dove gray and then on this side I've got one of those small umbrellas you guys know I live in Vancouver so I carry this at all times it doesn't matter if it's summer fall or winter so even given how tiny this looks it actually does fold out to a reasonable personal size I've had this one for a long time before this one I had one with cats printed on it but polka dots are sort of fun so I've always got that on me and then I've got this little creature um, I'll try and find it. I remember they do have a website. Um, this was from a Nordstrom pop-up. It's from the New Doll um, website. It says designed in London and made in Taiwan. That's kind of cool. But anyway, it's just a little case. And silly as this may be, it actually makes a great little fun camera case. Camera cases are usually so ugly. And they can be really chunky as well. So I like this one because it's quite small and it makes me smile. And I have my vlogging camera in there because I am currently vlogging this week for my girl bot series so yeah I love my vlogging camera um, of course I complain about it sometimes because that's what youtubers do but I've had it now for about two years there is a new version so this is the Canon G7X I think the newer one is the Canon G7X mark and it's got some additional features but this one does have the flip out screen the microphone is reasonable and i think it's not too wobbly in terms of the footage i get i'm happy with it of course it's never going to be perfect but i enjoy filming with it and then i've got this nifty little gadget so this is called a flint it is apparently an award-winning invention that's quite recent it's a lint roller and so you can see this part you know i mean this is a sweater so course it's gonna have lint coming off but um, it's really great so you can get um, refills for this as well like this part pops off and you can just put a new refill in I got it from London Drugs I'll try and find an online link um, yeah patent pending really interesting little gadget um, I just like that you can twist it up like that so you don't get loads of stuff from your handbag sticking to it and it's reasonably compact as well you can see compared to my hand 
Then I've got this um, little sunglass case. Definitely a little bit worn now, but it's something I've had since I was, I want to say like 12 years old and I'm 28 now. Um, so I love this. I do love dolphins, but really what I like about this is that it's soft and any size of sunglasses fit in here. So even though it's not that sunny now, I still am enjoying carrying around my sunglasses for now. I did really love these this year. They're Gucci bamboo, but I don't know if I'll be able to find the exact style because I actually got them from Nordstrom Rack. So yeah, still carrying those around. I might eliminate this within the next month or so once every day starts to be raining. On this side, I also keep the strap. I have to say I'm really happy just carrying this bag over my arm or just by hand, like a little briefcase. Um, but it does have a really nice leather strap that clips on here at the handle. So I'll show you what it looks like. The handles actually do tuck in. So that means if you do want to carry it with the long strap, you don't have to have the shorter handles poking out at you. So that's something that I think is a really nice feature of the design, something I really thought was a bit different from how a lot of designer handbags and other handbags are designed. This little belt-like thing is meant to link together the handles, and I have to say I absolutely never use it, but I still keep it on anyway because I know as soon as I take it off is when it will get misplaced. So the last thing that I have on that side of the handbag is this little Tiffany's pouch. And the reason that I keep this on me um, in my handbag, even if it's empty, is for when I go to the gym. So I usually do take off most of my jewelry when I'm exercising. And so these are my Dove Grey Nouvelle Pearls. So I've got the short necklace detached from the bracelet. I'll put those back together, actually. That's my preference for storage is to link them up so you guys know this is my design. And so I clearly must have been wearing that when I went to the gym last time, three or four days ago. And there's my room. So it's just nice to separate my jewelry out. I do not like to leave it just sort of loose in my handbag in any way because I'm always worried about losing it, if, especially if it's like little studs or something. So I've got this little Tiffany's pouch and who doesn't like a little bit of robin's egg blue anyway. It's a nice way of enjoying the Tiffany's pouches um, out and about. So then in the middle pockets, you can see this one does have a zip, which is another feature of the handbag that I really like. So in that pocket, I've got my keys. Looking to see if there's anything sort of personal. No, there isn't. So the key to our apartment has just a horrible design. It's a devil on one side and an angel on the other. It says like good and bad or something on the other side. I covered it up with a Hello Kitty head that doesn't fit on there very well, but I do like the grip that it provides. I've got an H Mart club card, little loyalty card. I like it when stores give you these as opposed to the full size card. It's a great, really affordable place to get fruit and veggies here in downtown Vancouver. And then I've got way too many keys and a fob. Because I'm nice, when we moved in together, I gave Joe the little fob, the little mini one so that his suit won't look bulky. And I took one for the team and took the really bulky um, fob for myself. So yeah, this whole thing is kind of heavy and big. And then on this side, I've got a bunch of cards. I've got a card for my office. It says nothing on it, so I can show it to you. And then I've got a card for the gym. It also says nothing on it, um, but that's for the Vancouver Club. And then I've got a compass card. This is our oyster card type thing for Vancouver. I try not to keep too much money on it because this is my second one and I also try and keep them in here so that I don't lose them and I've got a little zip on that. Um, so that's my little keys plus wallet thing. Sometimes, although not very often, I will take a credit card and some ID in here and just be able to head out the door with just this if I'm you know, going around the corner to get some groceries or something. Um, I, um, it's a nice option to have. I love these types of like little key designer small leather goods. Um, usually they're a nice way to get a designer purchase at kind of reasonable price. So Gucci makes some really nice ones. LV makes some nice ones. This is a multicolor one, which is no longer in existence. Um, it's kind of, it's got a little worn, but it was a present from my mom. Um, so I would have hoped that the gold would have stayed on a little bit better. You can see that it has rubbed off a little bit here from the keys, but I suppose it's to be expected. I have had it now for almost four years. Then in the middle, the other thing that I always keep in there is my wallet. 
now that I have separate business accounts from personal accounts, I have so many cards. I think I can show you without showing you any of the numbers. So this is how many cards I have. I try and keep business cards on this side, personal cards on this side, and ID in the middle. I hardly ever have any cash, but usually I do try and keep a little bit for emergencies. Um, and then in here I've got some Spa Utopia gift cards. Um, Joe's parents got me a massage for my birthday last year. Um, so I've still actually got some left over here to spend and I need to go back there and book myself an RMT massage. I also get some work um, money to spend on that and I just really need to book it, but I, I never do. I really need to get into doing that before the end of the year. This wallet is one of my best purchases because it fits so many cards but it's actually smaller than most continental wallets that I've seen. So it's from Gucci. They don't have this Gucci Sima design anymore, but they may have something similar that I'll link down below if I can find it. And what I'll do is I'll also link an affordable option that has card slots. I don't know how to explain this. Okay, a lot of wallets, the cards go in this way and it's like that usually 80 to 90% of designs that I see are like that. What I like and what my mom likes, she has an even bigger one than I do. She's got the Gucci Soho, which is about this much bigger. The card's going like this, so you can see them really well and the wallet opens to be flat. It makes such a difference when you are at checkout and trying to pull out cards and find them, especially if you have a lot of cards. I just love this wallet so much, I almost wish I'd bought two for when this one gets to be so worn it's unwearable, but it's Gucci leather is, so good. I've had this now since gosh, six months, nine months, something like that. And it looks brand new. So I'm really, really happy with that. And then over here in the other pocket, taking up pretty much all of it here, I'll show you as I pull it out. So that's the other side pocket. I've got this. So this is a giant makeup bag. I'll go through it. Um, but before I do that, I'll just show you what I have in this pocket here. I've just got my big cards. So for Nouvelle Pearl and Nouvelle Apparel, I always do handwritten notes, but I also give these out to people I meet if they're curious about my businesses. I have to say this one's kind of crumpled. I should get rid of it, but um, I always try and keep those on me. And then I've also got some cards for my full-time job as a lawyer, but I won't show you those because that is something I try and keep a little bit private from the internet. And then I've got my big makeup bag here. I used to carry one that was about two thirds of the size of this from Indigo Bookstore, but I switched to this one, which is real leather. It's very like buttery and nice. It's from Le Parmentier. I think the color, it doesn't match the bag, but I think they look nice together. And the reason I did this is because I noticed that my smaller one was getting more and more bloated. And so even though it wasn't full, it always had that bloated shape. So getting one that's a bit bigger so that you can see everything sort of rattling, like there's room in here, it's only maybe half full, actually allowed my bag to then be less puffy because everything is taking up space sideways instead of in thickness. And it's made in Italy and it's actually got two pockets. So in the smaller pocket, here's what I keep. Some contact lenses in case mine have an issue, I do sometimes get quite dry eyes. I keep a tiny toothpaste, and I used to have a toothbrush that went with this. It was a little travel foldable one, but I think it got gross, so I threw it out, and now I need to replace it, note to self. I've got some hair bands. I've got a little mini nail file, very useful. And then strewn throughout, I used to have a case for these. I've got these little picks um, from gum. These are great if you have something stuck between your teeth. Then I've got a lip liner here. This is Charlotte Tilbury. It's pretty much the only one I consistently carry around. It's my all time favorite. It's Pillow Talk. It's just a natural color. It really does help your lipstick to last longer. And so that's everything that's in the smaller pocket. And in the larger pocket, I have got my favorite powder of all time. This is what I wear when I do my makeup in the morning and then I carry a second one around for touch-ups because it's kind of a powder foundation, but it's never cakey. Yeah, it says it's a powder foundation. It's the Kat Von D Locket Powder. My color is Light 44. I absolutely love this because it means that I can sort of mattify my skin, but it also provides some coverage. And sometimes I'll just use a little bit of it on a zit or something. It works really, really well. This, oh my gosh, this is a must have. I got this in the Sephora VIB sale. It's a blotterazzi, it needs a wash, but it comes with two sponges 
and it's by the Beauty Blender company. It says Pro on it because it came with a silver case, um, but it's the same as the original and it's amazing at blotting my skin. You'll see I don't carry around any blotting papers anymore. I just use that. And what it does, my skin's not that oily now, but it doesn't take off really any makeup and it doesn't blot too much. So you'll see this is from months of use, the makeup that's on here. So it really doesn't take off too much makeup at all. And it just works so well. It doesn't dry out your skin too much. So you're left with a little bit of natural sort of glow, but not too much. It's just, it's so good. Eye drops, of course. Anybody who spends a lot of time in front of a laptop or a computer needs that. And I've got the end, unfortunately, of this little rollerball type perfume, but it's actually a spray. It's just a rollerball size. Um, this is Wool from Commodity. Oh, it's so good. I love this. I kind of want to buy this whole size. It's really, really good. And the second perfume I have was also sent to me. It's from Scentbird. It comes in this cute little thing. They're not sponsoring this video or anything. It's just a free sample they sent me. And this has La Perla's perfume in it. So I think it's really floral. It's a little bit more sort of summery, but very nice. Favorite lipstick currently, Charlotte Tilbury's Bond Girl. I've talked about this in other videos, love. Advil, oh my gosh, look at this old little jar. I keep refilling it. Another must, if you've never tried this, Alana Lips. It's amazing. It's the only thing that seems to actually heal my lips as well as protect them. So it's made from lanolin, it's 100% natural. It's got this kind of retro looking packaging. It's from Australia originally. It used to be impossible to find in Canada, but now, thank goodness, Anthropology carries it in this packaging in the original formula and the lemon one, which I don't really like that much. And then another all-time favorite lip product is this YSL. Um, this is the color, the, it's the fuchsia one. I'll link it down below. This is a really nice product because it's glossy, but it leaves a stain behind. So if you apply it and then it wears off, you're left with a little bit of color. I've got a barrette, in case of a bad hair day. I really like this. It's from J. Crew. it's a tortoise shell. And another favorite lipstick. I tend to carry my favorites around because that way I can enjoy them on the day to day. I don't even tend to wear lipstick when I walk out the door. So it's usually something I'll apply around midday. And then again, when I leave the office, that's usually when I apply my lip products. So this is from Bite. It is a multi-stick. So it's got this kind of stick-like um, design to it. You're meant to be able to use it as a blush, but I don't. This is the color Mascarpone. It's so good. It's like a slightly warm pink. It's one of those your lips but better shade. This is now truly a very retro nostalgic YouTube video when you say your lips but better. Everybody used to say that, but it is. And then I've got a little concealer. I rarely use this because it's actually just a little nub that's left over. This is really in case of like a serious zit emergency. It's from Clé de Peau, very expensive but very good. I keep one that's actually full and usually where I use it and sometimes need a touch up is around my nose. Another YSL, you can tell how much I like these. Um, this is the peach one, really good also. It's got less pigmentation of course because of the color but also still leaves a tint. Um, behind a nice natural stain, a uh, sugar candy fresh balm. So this is a tinted balm. I always carry some kind of tinted balm with me and it's a really pretty nice bright pink. And that is it for the little makeup bag. See? And the handbag's also empty. So let me show you what it looks like. Oh, these are the cards. Let me take those out. So here's what the handbag looks like when it's empty. You can see it's got the lining in the same color, but it's striped. For a designer bag, very, very light when it's empty. And I love the gold hardware on the sides. It's got this pretty little lock on the side that I don't use, but it's for decorative purposes. And that is my what's in a handbag video. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I cannot believe how much actually fits in this handbag. It's quite the spread, isn't it? So really fun for me to do this. It's been a while deliberately since I've done one because you guys know I'm all about handbags and I do switch them up pretty often, but this one is one that I've been using on repeat for about two weeks now. So it felt like the right time to go ahead and show you my messy contents. I hope that you found this video helpful and fun. If you'd like to see my next installment on style, make sure you give this video a like and hit subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for your time today and spending it with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.